Hola amigos! So it's been some time since the last time I did a hair, curly hair routine video. So it's like, it's about time also because my hair routine has changed a lot ever since I got here to Manila. So it's like, let's just do that now. So if you guys didn't know, I actually live here in the Philippines in humid Manila where it's humid and hot all day long. So it's like, I should give you guys, you know, my routine because this is the best routine I've ever had so far. It's what works best for my, my hair. And by the way, never mind my outfit. I have no idea what this is. So let's begin guys. The first thing I do before I go out, go anywhere, I take a shower because I know that in cooler countries, in Sweden and Denmark and other countries, they always say to just wash your hair once a week or twice a week or something that will never work here in the philippines unless you want to like smell a lot by the end of the week uh that's not possible uh, unless you're some sort of superhuman where <laughs> maybe you can do it i cannot it would be horrible i just take a quick shower it's cold water as well guys most parts in the philippines it's cold water that you're showering in so that's another thing that helps with frizzy hair cold water so for my shampoo and conditioner i don't really have any specific ones that i have but currently i'm using the vo5 shampoo which is for extra body uh, which I don't really need because I have a lot of body in my hair already But it does have a lot of vitamins and stuff like that So this is what I'm using right now and next time I will use another brand It's not like I'm just using that one because it works best for my hair the thing with my hair Shampoo when it comes to shampoo as long as it's a good quality shampoo It won't really do a difference no matter what type of shampoo I have, you know But when it comes to conditioner, I need to use the Pantene um, daily moisture renewal conditioner this one guys it might be one of the most popular conditioners here in the Philippines I feel like I see this all the time and for that one I usually buy Pantene and that exact one because it's it makes my hair incredibly smooth and for conditioner I use three pumps of that for shampoo I use two uh, because I need a lot of conditioner now after I've taking my shower I don't dry my hair so what I used to do is to put my hair up in a towel in a turban and then later I found out that towels are horrible for your hair so I switched to cotton t-shirt and I would use a cotton t-shirt and do a turban with that to dry my hair but now I've realized that I don't even need that I just took a shower guys five minutes ago my hair has stopped dripping it's barely dripping now so it dries very quickly so i don't really need that and it's best there it's way better for my hair to just let it air dry like this and it just so that it won't frizz because even if you use a turban a cotton turban it's going to create frizz still at least for me so what i do is i just let it air dry like completely even though the floor might become wet uh, and my clothes might become wet too but it will eventually dry you know and i usually don't put on clothes until it's mid dry until it stops dripping i just wear the towel around my body you know after i take a shower i make sure to moisturize with the frizz taming serum by elvive l'oreal and this one it's the first time i'm using it i've used half of it now i bought this back in oregon uh, a few months ago and this one is uh, an amazing brand if you have frizzy hair uh, and you need shine and it's also anti-humidity which is perfect guys so i use this what i do is i take two pumps and then like mix it like this and then i put it on my hair on the bottom part first and i just like smooth it out and then i put some on the top like so and i usually go like this and kind of like twist it a bit just to make sure that the front part of my hair of my face is very like framed and then i scrunch it a bit now you can see that it's I mean it creates a lot of shine and that will stick guys before I use this shine would never stick like my hair the shine would disappear as soon as it dried up as soon as my hair would dry there would be no more shine but this one makes it stick which makes me really really happy so I would definitely recommend you guys to get that one and then I just crunch it like that 
so just like so and then if I'm staying home like today I'm staying home that's it that's all I'm going to do I'm not going to touch it anymore that's all I'll do and once this has dried it will like it will obviously not look like this but it won't become frizzy it's just going to go up a bit it's going to become a bit shorter and then the curls will be defined as long as I don't touch it don't touch your hair guys while it's in a drying process and do not touch it while it's dry guys because curly hair when you touch it you're going to destroy it so just let it be you can only touch it while it's wet so in the beginning before you let it dry or else frizz it's frizz it's just going to create frizz so if I am going out, let's say I'm going to the mall or something, then I would actually put on something else. I will put on the Garnier Fructis style curl shape and uh, I will still put this on first. After that, I will use this one because this is curl shape defining spray gel. And what this does is it's going to make my hair 100% no more frizz. Like it's going to remove all of the frizz. It's going to prevent the frizz so that when I go into the jeepney outside to the mall or if I go out, it's not going to create frizz. So let's say I'm going to like, usually what I do with my hair is I braid it. Um, either braid it or just let it be so let's say I'm just going to braid it just for you know let me just braid my hair a little bit I can't really see myself so I don't know what I'm doing but let's just say I'm, I'm, I'm just fixing my hair right now I'm gonna braiding it what I do is I don't put that on first because it is going to make your hair a bit crunchy which is something I wish it doesn't do you know but if you don't put on too much then it won't like create that much now this is what I usually do just a tiny like braid or something else I put on a headband or I don't know I just wanted to show you guys quickly but I take some on my hands like that and just lay that and then I put some on the top of my hair just to make sure there will be no flyaways and I usually do not touch my baby hair just let that be but sometimes if it's you know being naughty then I will put some on it too but I usually don't touch it because I like to leave the baby hairs you know as natural as possible because the baby hairs are way more sensitive than the rest of your hair and so then I take this once I've done I'm done then I just spray all over especially at the front of my face of my hair and then I don't run my fingers through I just go like this I don't know what you call it <laughs> smooth it out and then I crunch it a bit and then do not touch it after that and then I go to the other side do the same thing then I go through like that and then I crunch it and then that's it I do not touch it anymore now I just let it air dry and that's it and do I never go near the electric fans while this is drying aircon is fine because it's cold air but electric fan it's going to create frizz so while I'm still waiting for it to dry it's still wet I just you know stay like this or I go even if I it's totally fine if I just go out right now if I go out right now it will stay the same it won't create more frizz just because I go out because I did use this if I don't use this I will look like a poodle when I go out so if I'm staying inside this will do so guys that's basically my hair care routine I know it's very very short and simple and you know and usually curly hair videos have so many different types of ingredients that they use need to use for their hair like shea butter and a coconut butter and then you, then you need to braid it this way and then you have to like touch it this way and and it, it confuses me so much and it's way too confusing I was like I need to show you guys a simple way where it, I only use two products and sometimes just one so I would like to use as little hair products as possible and it's also cheaper this way so if you're in Manila guys or somewhere where it's humid this is what I would re recommend you guys to use but I would say a number one thing for me though because I have almost the same routine when I was in Shargao I had the same routine almost the same routine and I would still get very frizzy hair there because of the water the water in Chargao is more on the salty side which dries out my hair and even when I was in California it would dry out my hair as well because they use a lot of chlorine in their 
tap water, I mean the shower water. So it would also create frizz in my hair. But when I'm in Oregon or here in Manila, the water is so much softer. And uh, that's why my hair it's way happier here so much shinier so if you are in a place like california or even like sharga where the water is not your friend then i would suggest you guys to get a water filter that will remove hardness of the water i don't even know what to call it but to make the water softer buy one of those no idea what you need to buy but just buy something that will filter it out like one of those filter things you can just connect to your shower head because it's going to help with your hair i've heard a lot of people do it and it will help and it always helps their hair and also skin because their skin will dry from chlorine i remember when i was in california and my skin dried up so much i will show you guys what it looks like when my hair is dry right now it kind of still looks like it's wet it's not wet anymore. This is what it looks like once it's dry. It's completely dry. It's compact. I didn't do anything to it. Usually, uh, if I don't do those steps, it would be this big. So, uh, there's a huge difference. And as you can see, it's like no frizz. And if there is a some frizzy parts then it's easily you know you can fix that easily by just putting some water and then putting on some more of the fructis so it's not really an issue but it's still like my and it still looks presentable like i can go out with that hair you know so i recommend you guys to do this and tell me down below your number one tip for curly hair if you have any if you have curly hair please go down below and subscribe to this channel art and beauty freak leave your requests down below and and tell me if you want more hair videos i know a lot of you guys have been requesting these so i will make more now that i'm in manila and i have more products i can use so anyways thanks for watching guys gracias for and i'll see you next time adios amigos Ooh.